Geeks! We are back at Universal Studios Florida and we're here. Hey, it's Kyle. What's he doing? Jeez Louise. <laughs> Uh, we're here for the opening of the Tribute Store, this year's Tribute Store. Um, it kind of seems like it has a post-apocalyptic theme to it this year. So uh, we are here because we're annual pass holders and it's open today for annual pass holders. So we're going to check it out and we're going to bring you along with us. very crowded this morning because this is the first hour uh, that it's open to the public. If you pre-purchased an item to be displayed in the trivia store, that's what these things are. So you can kind of see people paid for to get their faces on boxes like this and cans like that down there. But what's back here? No bats. Really interested in bat, the bat creatures this year. So this definitely ties into the stuff that they were showing. Does that say astride weapons? Assorted weapons. Okay, well, <laughs> sorry about that. I guess I should be wearing my glasses. It's dark in here, people. Like I was saying, this definitely seems to tie into the storyline that was set up at uh, the Mummy, uh, like a merchandise store. You know, they had all the stuff set up there that was kind of hinting at a bat creature that escaped and, uh, you know, broke out of a museum exhibit. So that seems to definitely play into this post-apocalyptic theme they have here. It's a pretty cool bag, actually. And this Ghostbuster sign. They like these wooden signs. They're they're pretty slick looking. Ooh, look, Ghostbusters water bottles. Vegan call. So this is definitely the Ghostbusters room, even though it's not themed to Ghostbusters. You know, the theme seems more specific to this bat creature. But all the merch in here, or most of the merch in here, is themed to Ghostbusters. And they've got all the Mel's drive-in stuff that we showed you the other day. It 
you purchased an item to be displayed in the tribute store, you actually got this poster as part of your purchase, but you can also purchase it separately here at the store. And uh, it looks like it's in 3D, well, it says it's in 3D, so that's pretty cool. Tight quarters here, but they also have the Major Sweets merchandise that we showed you in our merch video the other day. I will link that at the end of this video so that you can get a better look at all the merch that we're seeing today. Um, just, you know, a little less crowded and a little better lighting because it's pretty dark in here. All right, we're heading into the next room. They should sell last year's merchandise out of this shopping cart, like clearance bin stuff. That would be awesome. Oh, and it's raining out here. Who's Jim, and why do I need to follow his rules? Oh, look. QR code. I'm going to get closer. Scan it. Let's see what they've got going on here. Beware the bat creature. Okay, we are heading into the next room, which is, whoa, pretty crazy. Okay, so now we've got the next room, which is kind of carnival, kind of punk rock themed. You can see the skull with lasers out of his eyes over there. Lil Busta. Giant tribute store sign back there. Clearly something going on here. Oh, more merchandise. That man has no head. I oh, whoa, look at that one. They've got that one, too. <laughs> and if you like the skull with lightning out of his eyes, you can buy some merchandise with him. That's not the, the merchandise, but it's around here somewhere, I'm sure. More Universal Orlando Pass holder exclusive gear here. Frank's house. <laughs> This is like the wall of the skull with lasers out of his eyes. They've got skateboard decks, magnets, keychains, badge holders, shirts, all the stuff right here. Here's the Blumhouse gear. Lil Boo, Lil Boo, Lil Boo. Send help, it's far too crowded in here. Here's another QR code. And if they're anything like the one that was in the mummy store, it's kind of the story of the bat creature and how this all happened. That toilet seat is on top of a bucket. Ooh, ammo containers. So far, nothing in the tribute store that we didn't share the other day in our merchandise video, so definitely click that at the end of this video. We'll link it there so that you can see all the stuff. All right, let's head this way. There's more stuff this way. Hi, Kim. It's me. <laughs> Green paint. They ran out of stuff to say. Check 
it out. It's the tape guy from the uh, summer trivia store. Towel. <laughs> Original soundtrack. Whoa, Jake Schuster lives. Okay, heading into the next room. Seems sewerish to me. And I think this is like the final room because beyond it is the uh, checkout area. So it looks like the bat creature has taken over. Maybe we've retreated to the sewers. We found comfort in our friend Kyle. Also, did you know there was a Phantom, Phantom Menace house here? What? Yeah. It's Darth Maul. Literally Darth Maul. <laughs> Good to know you can still get an ice cold Coca-Cola in the apocalypse. <laughs> you know, to be fair, I thought this was Batilda at first, and that's what they were hinting at, but I don't think it is. I think it's intended to be another bat creature. Interesting note, I have not seen the uh, Sinister and Surreal merchandise in this store yet. I don't know if I just haven't seen it yet, or it's only available in other stores right now. I will say, one of the things about this store is the layout, at least as crowded as it is right now, not conducive to really seeing the merchandise. Well, it's a peacock. Um, you know, some of the merchandise, frankly, is almost a little hidden, like in the back of a truck or, or something like that. So it's interesting. It's an interesting layout. That's cool, though. You can get your Quiet Place Joker looking merch in here, though. Water bottles, keychains, posters. I, I, I joke, but I actually kind of like this design. RE was here, Resident Evil. All right, what do we have in the case here? Oh, look at that. Cookies and cream top hat. Go s'more. Macarons. Batilda sugar cookies. Ah, oh, ghost trap blondie. Look at that. Black forest trifle cake with Nell's drive-in. Here's some more of the major sweets merch. And some of the uh, candy we showed you the other day. And you've got the wall of Blumhouse here. And over here, some, uh, oh, there's the Sinister and Surreal merch that I was talking about. Okay, so it's right here at the end. So they've got the shirt, they've got this utility bag, the hat, and they have the long sleeve t-shirt that we weren't able to show you in person the other day. So I like that they are doing long sleeve t-shirts. I, um, I think a good merchandise item would be t-shirt hoodies, you know, like t-shirt material, but hoodies, especially as hot as it gets down here before Halloween, feels like that would be a good piece of merchandise to have. This is pretty cool. <laughs> if you see a bat, take it out. As we enter the last room, you've got all the Chucky, all the cool new Chucky popcorn bucket. Looks like they've got lunch boxes, shirts, hats, and more. You've got the Studio Screamers merchandise in the corner. Chucky dresses. Now, like, the fact that there's a piece of a subway car in here is pretty incredible for a tribute store. That's impressive. Dia de los Muertos gear, and over here they are re releasing weekly magnets. And so here are the magnets they're releasing right now. We've got the Little Boo one. Um, but here are some of the upcoming releases, as well as a fake Creepy magazine. I love Creepy. Pretty imaginative checkout lines, looking like a subway. Subway map, tribute metro rail system. Oh, and the bat creature. There he is at the end of the store.
All right, I had to get a Major Sweets Top Hat cake. I'm gonna try it as soon as we get outside. Spooky. All right, let's get out of here. All right, of course they've got the collectible coins. Slimer, Quiet Place, Little Blue, Major Sweets. And you've got the newsstand here. Mad Monsters, Massacre at the Museum. Curator was here, reference to last year's store. The paint smells icons. What does that even mean? Don't peek. I'm gonna peek. There's nothing. All right, I came on to the stairs that they filmed that Ghostbusters uh, Halloween Horror Nights commercial on to eat my little, my uh, major sweets cake. I couldn't figure out how to take it out of the bag, so I just grabbed it from the top, and uh, that's what my fingers look like. That's lovely. All right, I'm a few bites into this Major Sweets Top Hat. Actually, it's really tasty. It's a difficult to eat, and the uh, the coloring on the shell sticks to your fingers. The shell's just hard, so it's kind of like hard to break through and get what's inside. But the cake inside, it's a cookies and cream cake, and it's actually really good. All right, so this year's tribute store, I don't know, I'm pretty meh about it, honestly. I don't think the theming really serves the, the event well. It doesn't really seem to tie into anything. And it honestly isn't great for displaying merchandise. Now, there were some impressive parts. I think the last room was probably my favorite with the subway station and the train and the, uh, the giant bat creature. That part was pretty cool. First two rooms, a little too tight, a little, you know, not my favorite. But, you know, what did you think? Let us know in the comments down below. Give us a thumbs up on this video. That would really helped us out. Hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you're notified when we release our upcoming Halloween Horror Nights content. See you next time. And that food dye really sticks to your fingers.